reverse weave. This boom is very similar to a forward weave, but it's in reverse. And anytime you take a move from forward to reverse, you're basically just inverting it entirely. And so we're moving from our heads, let's say, forward to our foot with the forward weave, and we're leading with our thumb side. With the reverse weave, we're actually going to lead with our pinky side, the opposite, and we're going to move from our foot to our head. Like that. And so we're actually using the pinky side of the staff to draw this weave shape. So from the front, leading with the pinky side. And just like with the forward weave, we're going to learn to transition from right hand weaving to left hand weaving in reverse. And because everything is the opposite, with the forward weave we would switch with it on the other side of our body. With the reverse weave I prefer to switch with it on the same side, the native side. And it's the exact same switch as the forward weave, but backwards on the opposite side of the body. So you switch that way with the reverse. So that one side looks like the reverse weave. Same side, switch, reverse weave, same side, switch. And that's, that's the hand switches there are easiest for me in the ways that I've demonstrated them to you, but you can do it on both sides, you know what I mean? So like the forward weave, you can do it on the cross side, or you can do it on the same side. But that's going to come into play a little bit later when we can start combining weaves and rotors.